all right let's say you've been doing maintenance on your system as you can see got all my batteries they're all off you know, none of the batteries in there are on everything's off been doing uh, some kind of maintenance adding something to your system adding more batteries to your system hey how do you turn everything back on without messing anything up hey look bottom line is your inverters of course are not going to have any power see i'm switching the switch on and off there's nothing on up there so you can make sure everything is off and bam the pre-charged resistor has already pre-charged your, your grow watts or whatever kind of inverters you do have and bam see i can power that one up Power my second one up. Power my third one up. And let's go through and power all my other batteries on. Get all my breakers. As you can see, I do have my wires everywhere. So I haven't fixed all that stuff. And we're gonna go in here and hit all these breakers. Starting at the bottom. Bam, as you can see, everything on. SL1, that means that's my second one. SL2, that's my third one. Now your primary, of course, is gonna say HSE. Good to go. Then whatever kind of breaker box you got, you go hit all your breakers. You know, my transformer breaker, of course, is already on everything. As you can see, my little outlet that I have connected here. It's already showing power. As you can see now, I have a lot more batteries. I got 10 batteries total. Got six in the rack over here. Another four on the ground. Still working on everything. And I have been able to run at least all night, run my whole house. And uh, when I do, I do have an electric car. So when I have to charge that, sometimes I've been able to run all night too, but it all depends on how much power I'm gonna be using and how much power my family uses. Basically at the end of the day, I think I am gonna upgrade some more and get some more panels from a uh, signature solar so i can have them facing more of i guess west i'll be able to get that uh late evening sun you know afternoon sun so when we're using a lot of power and people are going to take showers and baths and all that kind of stuff cooking and all that we're able to get some direct sunlight and uh maybe do a little better by having another panel hooked up to this my third inverter over there doesn't have any panels hooked up to it, so I'm gonna hook some up to that just for the evening. And of course, it'll get some during the day as well, but it, uh, the main thing will be in the evening, be able to really pull in some power to save my batteries for when it's actually dark. And uh, because if you're using a lot of power between you know six and eight o'clock, like a lot of people probably do, you know, it's gonna, I mean, sometimes my batteries might go down, you know, uh, 20, 30, even 40 percent at that point. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, I'm just going to start talking about my system, the things I'm doing. I'm going to try to start recording more. I'm doing stuff all the time, but I just don't have, I just feel like I don't have time to record it. You know, you got to get your camera, set it all up, edit it, all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to try to work on it, get a little better so I can show you the things I'm doing to try to get my house completely off grid. And if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.